Hey, this is a quick video to show you how the website feature works in the EasyHOA software. So I've logged into this management software. It's just a test account that we have called Everdell. So this is the management side, the management software side. And then I've got this other tab open right here. This is the website for um, this Everdell HOA. So this is the website. And then if I scroll back over here, this is the uh, management software. So to edit the website and, and add images to it and kind of get it going, you'll go over here to this left-hand side down to the tools menu, and then you'll click on this website page. When you click on that, it's gonna take you to this page. And at the top, you'll see that the first five buttons, so the home page, board page, contact page, events and news, these are all the different pages of the website. So if I wanna um, edit the board page, I'll click on the board page. That's going to take me to this page where I've got um, a box or a field here where I can edit and add information to the board page. If I click the home page, it's going to take me to this page where I can add content and information to the home page of the website. One thing to note is over here on the domain uh, name button, if you click on that and go to this page, this is just where we would set up an actual unique domain name or URL for your HOA. So if you don't have a unique unique URL, URL uh, for example, like this one, then it's just going to be on a subdomain of the EasyHOA website. And then this last page, the settings page, this has um, just, it will list all the pages of the website and then whether you want to show them or not. And so again, like if you're adding news and events to uh, this events and news page, you have to have these turned on for it to show on the website. So you can turn them on and off and then hit save over here. I'll show you really quick just one thing that you can do or a couple different things you can do, I guess, with the website. So for example, I've clicked on the home page. If I want to add information to this page, I'm going to come down here um, and I'll just type in hello. So if I type in hello and I hit save down here, it's going to update the page. If I go over here to the website page, and I refresh this, you'll see that now it says hello. And so that's how you add content to this page. So you can type the content in here. Here's some different options up here on, on where, you know, how you can uh, center it or justify it left or put a bullet point or list in on this page. One thing to note is if you're a little more advanced and you know HTML, you can come up here to this tools menu item and, and then you can hit source code. And then that will actually take you to this page and you can actually add source code into this box if you want to actually develop or program the website. If you don't know how to do that, then you'll just have to use the tools that we, we have here um, where you can kind of add different information in here. Um, I want to cover just how you add images to the website. So if I'm going to add an image right here, um, you've got to upload the image first over here under this documents section. And so if you go click on this documents section menu item, it's going to take you to the documents page. And then under this documents page, you'll see there's a folder called website images. So we've got to upload the website images um, here into this folder so that you can reference to them on the website. So the way you do that is you'd come up here, you hit add file. Um, I've got an image right here called Red Cliffs. If I hit that and hit upload, that's going to now upload this Red Cliffs image. Now that I have this Red Cliffs image in this folder, if I click on that, um, it's going to bring that image up. But then up here at the top, you'll see in the, um, the URL address bar, you'll see that it has this uh, link. So what you're going to need to do is you're going to need to copy this link. So if you hit copy and then I'm going to close this tab. So it's just going to take me back to the software. And then if I come back over here to the website and click on that, and I go, I'm on the home page. If I wanted to add an image right here, I'm just going to put my cursor right here. And I'm going to say, go up to this insert menu item. Am I going to, I'm going to click on image. When I click on image, the first field is source. The source is the URL. So I'm just going to paste that source that I just copied 
from when I uploaded that image into the documents folder, into the website images folder. I can put a description here, I can change the size of it. Um, once I do that, I can just hit save. When I hit save, now it's gonna reference that image um, on this page right here. And if I want to, um, right now it's centered, I, I could hit you know left justify, right justify, I can hit center. Um, but once I have the image on this page, I'm gonna hit save. Once you hit save, and then you come back over here to the website page, if I refresh this, now you're gonna see this, this new image that I just referenced and, and saved on the homepage using that website tool in the software. So those are kind of the basics of how you're gonna add content onto each of these pages. Um, again, if you need, you got some questions or need some help, we're more than happy to help you. Um, you can email us or call us, but just getting in here and kind of playing around with things and seeing how it works is kind of the best thing to do. And so you guys can add all your custom content in there and images and manipulate that data um, to the, the best that you can just using these, this website tool. So again, hope that helps. Let us know if you need any help um, with any of that. And we wish you good luck in, in building your website.